Alright, so this is another proof of concept. I still have a lot of testing to do, but I've got it working pretty well, so I wanted to share. So I've come up with a new control method, um, and for right now I'm actually going to use it for changing your presets and then also a new volume um, control. Um, so typically changing presets used to be while your blade was off, you just press aux um, and it would advance through your presets. But particularly now that Frederick has the new V2 plugin, you can add a ton of presets to the blade, and that's a lot of button presses. Um, so now what I've done is I've created a dial control that'll actually let you go in, scroll to your preset, lock it in, and then choose it. And this way you can quickly advance through all of your presets, particularly if you have a lot of them. Um, so I'm still working out the exact controls because I've got to make it fit within the prop file. Um, but for right now, I replaced the normal change preset which is just the aux button with this new dial menu so now when I press aux what it's going to do is it's going to play the font sound for the current preset that's active data. now I can advance by turning right Prepare a boarding party. Kylo Ren. And I can also go backwards very easily. And then to lock it in when you're at the one you want, you just press the aux again, and that'll actually lock it in. Now I have to add a sound for it so you know it's locked. Uh, but now I've activated the saber in that preset, so it just allows you to quickly, easily dial it in um, instead of having to keep kick, clicking buttons. And it'll just, if you have a ton of uh, presets, you can just keep turning the hilt either forward or backward um, to go forward or backward through all your presets. Um, so still some work to do on, you know, the sensitivity and all that, but the main concept's working. And then the other thing I've done now is I've changed the volume menu. So the volume menu is going to use the same dial control to go up or down. Um, and I've made it so you can do it while your blade is on, that way you can actually hear how loud, loud your hum goes. Um, now, it's going to always max out at your volume that you set in your config, and that's to protect your speaker, and that's just how the volume system works. Um, but uh, So you can go into that by having a long, while your blade is on, you're going to do a really long hold on aux. You're not going to let it go, you're just going to go until it makes a sound. And now you're in the dial control, so turning it down, you'll hear a little beep because I haven't changed that. And that's the bottom for the sound. Um, and it's really low now, obviously, but then I can turn it back up just by turning the hill. And then that's my max. And then to get out of the volume menu, you're going to again hold the aux until it makes the sound. So now you've got your volume control active while the blade is on. And instead of having to use the buttons, you can advance it just by turning your hilt. Um, and it's going to basically be the, the exact amount of degrees I haven't, sort, I haven't come up to a perfect mix yet. Um, so there's still a lot of cleanup to do. Um, but the idea is this new dial control manual actually gives you a lot more flexibility, particularly when you have a lot of things to go through. Um, so presets, volume, and then I actually have a few other things that I'm trying to get working. Um, but uh, another new control method uh, that I'm working on for my prop file for a future update for Profi. So um, lots more in the works. Um, but uh, I was really excited to have this working, so I wanted to share. So hope you enjoy.